Hi there, and let's get to it. Now that I've briefly talked about the differences between RAW Log and Rec. 709, we can start taking a look at the Camera Raw palette in the bottom left corner of the color page. This palette is responsible for decoding or debayering your RAW footage prior to color correction. The Camera Raw palette controls the RAW state of your RAW clips, which means that if you make any changes to these values, if you were to open up these clips in a different software, like say you were using RED footage and you opened it up in RED Cine, these values would be carried across like metadata. All of the controls available here can also be accessed inside of the project settings in the Camera Raw menu. In the top right corner, I can specify which camera I'm using and then control the footage accordingly. If I was to make changes in the project settings, then they would apply to all the clips imported to the project from then on. But if I was to use the Camera Raw palette, then these changes would be applied on a per clip basis. If you find that your palette appears completely grayed out, it's most likely because the clip that you have selected is not raw. In this case, this is a log C clip. With your clip selected, you can choose the decode quality at the top. By default, it will always use project settings, but I could choose to output at a different resolution if I'm having lag issues. On top of that, the decoder is currently using my project settings, but I could choose to isolate this clip and open up the ability to control these settings myself. I could choose to stick to the white balance as captured by the camera operator, or I could choose to impose a different white balance. The color space is being output as BMD film, which is good, that's the black magic decoder. If I was to output as Rec. 709, I will end up seeing a much more extreme version of my image. Uh, so I definitely don't want this, I'd rather start off with a clean slate. On the right hand side, I have the ability to control things like exposure, sharpness, highlights. I can boost the colors which is a bit different from saturation because it will only target those areas of the image that have low saturation. Midtone detail will go after the areas of the image that have a lot of information and increase their sharpness. So something like the water will be left alone, whereas the leaves will be emphasized. And then, of course, we have lift and gain responsible for the lower and upper ranges of the luminance of the image, and the contrast being the difference between the two. Now, a lot of these options are going to make my image look better, but I shouldn't really be using them for aesthetic purposes. If I want to introduce something like contrast, or if I want to clean up this blue overtone, I should do all of these things using the color wheels and later on the curves. The camera raw setting is really something I should use to ensure that I have the correct color space and gamma, and to remove any obvious jarring issues with the debayering. So maybe it's the temperature of the overall shot, or maybe there's only uh, two clips in the entire project that were underexposed, so I could choose to fix them before I start grading. But overall, avoid making small tweaks to these because you don't want to compromise how much you can do to the clip after you start grading. When you make changes inside the palette, they'll stay put and applied to the current clip. If you'd like to copy and paste this information across multiple clips, so let's say I've got three clips that follow this one that need to adopt the same look, all I have to do is hold the control key on my keyboard, select those clips, they'll show up as highlighted red, and then go down here to apply either the changes or the settings. Now the difference between the two is that if I had already applied some changes to these clips, but they were in different areas, then I could say use changes and only include the changes that I had made, so in this case the exposure and the contrast. On the other hand, if I wanted to completely wipe out any memory of previous raw settings on these clips and completely replace them with these settings, then I could use the second option, use settings. To reset any changes that you've made to the camera raw settings, click in the top right corner and either reset all the settings, or you can click on revert, which will take you to the state that the clip was in when you had first clicked on it. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.